Hi everyone, this is Bob with another audio tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at a couple of free plugins that can help you with the mastering process. Apple has a plugin that's offered in their Mastered for iTunes package. Another similar plugin is from SSL and it's the Enter Sample Meter. Now, I'm going to be using Logic Pro 10 for this video. However, any DAW should work that supports AU plugins for the Apple package. And the SSL website has downloads for both PC and Mac. So, what is the goal with these plugins? Well, here's a couple of key points. Digital distribution is today's dominant medium for consuming music. So, if you are planning to distribute your music, then you should at least get this part right. The quality of the digital music is increasing, as are sales of digital downloads. With iTunes being a key driver, the AAC format that iTunes uses is becoming the standard. So it makes sense to create your master specifically for this format. Mastering for iTunes is not done in the traditional way that you think of mastering. It has nothing to do with your creative decisions or how your music sounds or how great your song is, but it's more about the file specifications and clipping. So before you submit your songs to iTunes for encoding, there are some best practices that you can follow to ensure that your audio is optimized for iTunes. That's what you're gonna find in this package when you download it. They have some nice tools in there and there's some documentation that's definitely worth reading. So even if you're not planning on distributing this way, it's still worth the effort to learn this as I believe there'll be an industry standard and following Apple's lead may be a good place to start. Now you can just do a Google search for Mastered for iTunes. I'm just gonna pull up their site here. When you look at their documentation and um, you'll find the main documents here in this, um, in this PDF file. But when you read their uh, documentation, they have a couple of requirements. Number one, submit any sample rate of 44.1 or higher and a bit depth of 24 minimum. Now they don't want you to up sample files to higher resolution. So if you've recorded it at 44.1, don't try to up sample it to 40, 48, for example. And they want it at the original format. So if you record it at a higher rate, then submit it that way. Don't provide files that have been downsampled or dithered for CD. And then the other requirement is no clipping. Now, that sounds easy, right? Just don't go over zero dB full scale and you don't have any clipping. Well, this is what the plugin's for and that's what we're gonna go over next. So before we take a look at the plugin, there's one major problem and that's getting this digital signal. When we play it back, we have to get this digital signal back to analog. Now that's the job of the digital to analog converter. Now in Apple's documentation, they state this, digital data goes through several processes to be converted into an analog signal for playback. One common process is called oversampling. This upsamples the digital data at four times the original sample rate to improve the quality of the digital audio signal being converted to analog. If the original digital audio data is at zero dB full scale, oversampling can result in undesirable clipping. If the original was already clipped, the oversampling makes it even worse. A growing consensus is emerging that digital masters should have a small amount of headroom, roughly 1 dB, in order to avoid such clipping. Now, one of the main problems with this process is something called inner sample peaks. And this is what this plugin is going to look for. Now, let me pull up a, a website here, hometrack.com, and they have an excellent diagram that illustrates this issue. Okay, this is HomeTrack.com and they, they have this diagram that basically shows um, these red blocks are the digital signal. This blue line represents the waveform or the analog signal. So I'll just read from this. This diagram uh, illustrates the main issue with this peak. Sample 5 and 6 are both at 0 dB full scale. 
That is, they represent the loudest sound that the digital system can reproduce. Yet the peak analog sis, uh, signal, this is when the digital to analog converter reconstructs this, exceeds this level. So what I have pulled up here in Logic Pro is a guitar, kind of a heavy guitar instrumental loud tune that I did a couple of years ago. And I made sure that I didn't have any clipping when I mastered it. Now this is the mastered stereo file here. This is the AIF file. Um, it could be a WAV file, but this is the, uh, the mastered document here. So let's take a listen to this. Okay, so that's representative of the rest of the song, and you can see that my limiter was set at negative 0.2. Now, here's the, uh, here's the Apple Round Trip AAC. This is the free plugin. So let me turn this on, and we, we are going to listen or monitor to the encoded source here. And so you can see that, um, I didn't have any clipping here when I created this. So let's take a look at this plugin here and see what we have. So as soon as I started this, you see that I'm clipping here and I look at these clip indicators. Let's show some more details here and let's see what we have here. You can see here that in the source area, you can see the sampled source is negative 0.2 so I'm not clipping that's all I had to work with now I have a whole bunch more data by using this plugin here's the enter sample uh, peak that we talked about earlier so you can see that my source is already uh, clipping now the encoded half of this plugin is the it's set to the iTunes plus ACC you have different settings you can change here but if you were going to upload this tune to, uh, to iTunes, you would want to know what's going to happen to the encoded file. And let me let this play just a little bit longer. So you can see that it's getting, as I play it, it's getting worse and worse. And these are the number clips uh, here for the encoded part. And this is the source part. Again, the source, you know, and the information that I had to deal with, I didn't think I was clipping. But it's obvious that uh, when I encode this to iTunes Plus, and then I look at the inner sample peaks, uh, I'm in trouble with this file. So... Um, let me pull up on another multimeter here. Let's see. Let's look at, we have, um, this is the multimeter that Logic has. We're going to look at this uh, before this plug-in. And then I have another one that's after the plug-in. So what we're going to look at here, this is the information I had when I mastered the song. This is what I used. I'm going to set this to um, the monitor to encode, so we're going to listen to this encoded file. So what's going to come out of this now is what's going to be over here on this multimeter. So we're just kind of double checking this here, uh, just kind of interesting, see what we get. Let's take a listen. So again, this is in the order of the signal chain. The um, the file hits here first, and then I hit this round trip AC, AAC plug-in, and I'm monitoring the encoded file. And then out here, you can see I'm clipping over here, clipping here. Now I'm going to do exactly what Apple suggested. Let me reset all this. And I'm going to put a gain plug-in here, and I'm just going to pull it back to, uh, turn it on and pull it back to negative 1 dB. And that's just a good, a good starting point. And let's see what happens now. Remember, I wasn't clipping on the original, but when I looked at the encoded and looked at the inner sample peaks of the encoded and the source file, I was clipping and I verified that over here. So let's take another listen here.
So right away, you can see by taking that source file, pulling it down 1 dB, I have a negative 1.2 here. Remember, I had a 0.2 here before I put the game plug in. I put it down 1, and so that equals out there. Look at this area right here. I have no clipping on the encoded file or the source file, and the inner sample peaks are fine. And then I verified that over here. So anyway, it's a great um, it's a great use for this uh, for this plugin. Even if you're not going to um, master for iTunes, or if, even if you're look if you're not looking for the mastered for iTunes label, this is a good plugin to get, and uh, this will keep you out of trouble here. One other thing, let's look at uh, let's look at the SSL now. Okay, I just remembered that the plugin in Logic Pro 10 will not work because it's a 32-bit plugin. Um, you can use it uh, on Logic 9, so if you still have Logic 9, uh, I'm not going to pull up Logic 9 and show it to you, but um, it basically works the same way. Here's the plugin. This is the documentation for the plugin. You can go to their uh, website, uh, solidstatelogic.com, and it's a free download. But anyway, here it is, the enter sampling meter. And you have the analog uh, clipping here, and you have the digital clipping, uh, clipping here, and some nice documentation. So you'll want to you'll wanna read this as some good stuff here. So um, also, there's a very similar uh, little graph here showing you the same thing, the uh, points being the, the digital sample and then the representation of the wave or the analog uh, the analog signal when the uh, digital to analog converter does its thing and this is showing the peak the intersample peak up here okay I hope that was helpful thanks for watching the video please comment and subscribe and until next time